Hi, my name's Fluff, and on behalf of Seymour Duncan, I'm going to show you how to install some passive pickups into a guitar that has active pickups. First, we're going to get started with the tools that it takes to do the job. Things that you will need include a soldering iron, wire cutters, pliers, extra wire, flux, solder, your pickups obviously, and some pots or potentiometers. You will also need the wiring diagram, which is always available at your pickup manufacturer's website if it does not come with the pickups. The guitar that we will be using today is my Schecter ATX Solo 6 model with two volumes and one tone knob. Of course, before we can install the new pickups, we have to take out the old ones, and that also includes the potentiometers and the wiring harness. Be sure to note which color wire goes to which pickup on your selector switch. Now that we have the old pickups and the old harness out of the guitar, we can now start installing the new pickups and the new harness. During this installation, changing the pots is a must, as passive pickup systems require pots ranging from 250k to 500k, while active pickups require 25k pots. Because this guitar is not equipped with coil tapping, I'm going to do a traditional pickup install and join the red and the white pickup wires together. Just like the rest of the wires in your guitar, it's best to use solder when joining these two pickup wires together as opposed to a splice or electrical tape. Now it's just a matter of hooking up the individual wires to the respective spots according to the wiring diagram. It also should be noted that Seymour Duncan always recommends a bridge ground connection in your guitar, even with their blackout models. It's less necessary when going to active, but always recommend it nonetheless. Be sure to take your time and be thorough, as you might get a cold solder joint if you're not, which will require soldering down the road after everything's all put together. Also, passive pickups generally use a mono output jack. You can use your stereo jack from your active pickup system However, the middle terminal of the output jack will not be used. Once you're done wiring everything up, you should have something that generally looks like this. Once you install the input jack, the only thing left to do is to test the pickups by tapping on them to make sure everything's correct. And that's it. Really, it's not that time consuming, and if you follow the instructions, putting passive pickups into an active pickup equipped guitar is really straightforward. Again, I'm Fluff, and on behalf of Seymour Duncan, thanks for watching.